This is the construction uh, project at Hotto. The first day, the two pieces of the house, this is the front and the next is the back, they arrived. These uh, are supposed to be, the next day, placed on the foundation of the house. This day was tough because they had to get the houses in on a middle lot uh, above the foundation. They had a heck of a time. There's a tree in the road. So what they had to do is cut the tree down and uh, clear it away. This took a, a real long time to get the houses positioned on the lot. So the back of the house had to go in first, a very, very close uh, between the trees. This is the front of the house finally on the lot and um, that's what it looks like inside the modular home when they took the packaging materials off. This is Rich and Vince who came up to say good luck and watch it and that's your humble narrator. This is the front of the house going up on the crane this had to go on first. I was a little bit worried about this. This is all taking place on the 14th. But the uh, fellows who uh, ran this equipment and set up the house knew what they were doing. So they uh, lifted it off with a big crane, turned it around, set it on the foundation. You can see on the left the uh, the back of the house on the lot because that's next in line to go up. This is the front coming in and there's the crane. The, uh, the roof is actually still on the top of the house and they're going to lift that. You'll see that a little bit later where they lift the uh, back of the roof, which is totally shingled when they do it, and the uh, front of the roof, which is partially shingled because there's a big porch going on the front. And they had to put a, a dormer peak above that entryway. So you'll see that toward the end uh, when it's done. It's a very rainy day. They had a lot of shingling to do. And uh, the fear was that it was going to rain pretty hard. It was misty and cold. That's the front of the house in position and this is the back of the house that's going to go on next. So here comes the back of the house up. I really thought that they'd have to take a couple shots at uh, this positioning but again the back of this house just uh, just slid in. I mean, you can see how close the trees are. The crane operator was uh, pretty precise. After he moved it over toward the foundation and put it on, that's that's all that there was to do. Again, the weather was cold, damp. I left uh, on the 14th about 5.30 and there were guys still doing final shingling because they didn't want the weather to mess up the house. It had to be tightened up. Here it comes, back corner of the house, to be stuck on the foundation. These guys guided in, and there's a guy with a, a come along making final adjustments, tighten that house up. This is Dennis, the excavator, and me out in front of the house. There goes the front roof up. Again, they use the crane to pull that up, and the workers. Uh, help guide it, and attach it, and guide it. So that went up. And now they'll get the uh, pieces for the 
pieces of those straps to hook on to the to the back of the roof and they'll pull that up at the top of the roof uh, it's all hinged the white part flips over on each side of the roof to form the peak of the roof Now I have uh, some further pictures of the interior of the house. This is right after it went up to a gas fireplace, kitchen. It's a splash guard we had put in, electric stove, master bathroom. This is Ella, the drywall finishing lady. Uh, she was up there the Saturday after this was done. That's when that picture was taken. It's an example of the cedar beams, the wainscoting. The uh, fence-like stuff there is going to be for the deck. This is the back of the house in the sunlight on a little bit later. And that's the front of the house. And here's another from the front of the house, uh, of the front of the house from Maple Terrace. And that's it for now.